at the end of the day, it's all about freedom. You know, they had uh, Dennis Kucinich on uh, uh, this week too, and he was talking about the threats of the deep state. And, yeah, and, yeah. You know, he's like, he made it. He made the point where he's like, look, this isn't about if you're for or against Trump or whatever. This is about the intelligence community is openly and aggressively and you know well, trying to undermine case, the presidency. In case anybody doesn't uh, exactly understand what happened here, yeah. uh, let's be clear let's about recap this, it. okay? So Flynn uh, was basically forced out, okay. And it, it basically came out that he had misrepresented what happened with a conversation with a Russian ambassador to uh, Mike Pence. But the, the way this came out was basically that, um, that the NSA had spied on him while he was a private citizen, before he had been appointed. They spied, they basically did what Snowden and all the people who have opposed this mass spying system have been saying would be the reason why you can't possibly allow the government to have this this uh, type of access. Because you're like, if they have everybody's information, if there's ever anybody who they don't like who challenges their authority, they have all of his stuff and they can blackmail him or use him. And this seems to be what happened here, mm -hmm. like pretty much in plain sight. There's no denying that this happened. And it, 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 and journalists aren't even fucking like having a, a question with it. Yeah. And Trump is making this point over and over again. Now, Trump has said that he's having conversations, right? He's having conversations with foreign leaders and then the next day, the press is writing about it. Right. And he's going, whoa, what's going on here? Right. Where are these leaks coming from? So what you've got right now is the deep state uh, spying on the president and his cabinet members and trying to, to degrade the president's administration and, and uh, damage his ability uh, to appoint the people that he wants or yeah. get what he wants done. I mean, this is an incredible scandal. Just an outrageous scandal. And, of course, this has come out before. Nobody really talks about this or in the mainstream media, gives it the weight it deserves. But it came out a couple years ago. Of course they don't because the, they're, they're fucking in on it. Right, and it came out a couple years ago that the Senate Intelligence Committee was being spied on by the CIA. Yeah. When they are given the task of overseeing the CIA. They're at Rand Paul asked the question. He said, we don't really know who's running this thing. And it's a, <laughs> it's a very yeah. – very interesting, uh, you know, situation. So th this is this is something that we know about, and um, man, it's pretty nuts to watch it play out.